Thank you for having me to talk about personalized healthcare in Sub-Saharan Africa. I'm Adishola Uguni. I'm a professor of neurology at the University of Ibadan, and I work at University College Hospital where I see patients. I'll start by talking about challenges facing those of us who manage Alzheimer's disease in Sub-Saharan Africa. And there are a few key points. We note an increasing number of individuals with dementia, particularly in low and middle income countries. And there's paucity of data on these individuals from Sub-Saharan Africa. Coupled with the fact that we have di diagnostic delays due to social stigma and possibility of involvement in witchcraft and lack of awareness, so it's possible that there's a lot of concealment within families. This coupled with poor access to healthcare and high cost of healthcare, because most of the healthcare is borne by family members, makes it a challenging problem for us. We also have poor access to neuroimaging tools and diagnostic tests. And these are the problems that confront physicians managing patients with dementia. A case that I'm going to present to illustrate this case will bring this out. And it's that of a 65 year old legal practitioner who came to the clinic on account of memory deterioration that affected his job in the last three years. There was a history of hypertension for which he was receiving treatment. On examination, he was unkempt with impaired three item recall. He had problems with calculation and abstraction. His blood pressure was 190, 100 with irregular pulse. Other systems appeared normal. One month after the initial review in hospital, he developed urinary incontinence with regression of social functions. And there was impairment of past events as well, a recall of past events. Over a period of six years when he was followed up, his cognitive function deteriorated and he wandered aimlessly around the neighborhood. He had difficulty with dressing and required assistance with walking, although the motor power in his legs were normal. He had lost interest in doing anything. So this case I've presented illustrates the following points. Alzheimer's disease or dementia in general is a chronic and progressive illness. Multiple domains can be affected in terms of cognitive ability and a significant functional impairment in this individual. This individual had multiple vascular factors and was considered to be an advanced case of dementia with behavioral change in form of apathy. There was also the social challenge caused by aimless wandering in the neighborhood. There's a diagnostic puzzle here. Is this Alzheimer's disease or mixed dementia? And this is where laboratory investigations will have helped. So we're making the point that there's increasing prevalence of dementia. There may be multimorbidity, but there's low access to healthcare. And social stigma can complicate management of Alzheimer's disease in Sub-Saharan Africa. So this provides us opportunity to talk about personalized healthcare in Sub-Saharan Africa, which is the way to go. If we do this, we can increase awareness to communicate the differences between dementia and normal aging to people in communities, who provide resources to family members and people in the community. By providing personalized healthcare, we can have joint decision making and holistic needs assessment with patients. We can empower non-specialists, especially in the rural settings, to perform a comprehensive assessment. And we can expand beyond cognitive assessment as a measure of mental capacity. There's an advantage in the use of technology-driven care because it will allow clinicians to efficiently see patients. We can utilize wearable technologies that collect Alzheimer-specific metrics while circumventing burden on the healthcare system. There's also the consideration of use of biomarkers in Alzheimer's disease uh, because cognitive testing could be time-intensive and is limited by cultural bias and may be retard-dependent. But digital biomarkers, when utilized, can have potential to accelerate and Alzheimer's disease diagnosis and can reduce financial burden on the health system by allowing patients to be treated on an as needed basis. So we'll collect data, uh, patient recorded outcomes. We can use apps for this. We can use Actigraphy to measure their movement. And then this can be analyzed by specialists and this makes life a lot easier. So in summary, uh, personalized healthcare in Sub-Saharan Africa uh, we provide adequate access to resources such as diagnostic tools or imaging. We provide a diagnosis, dementia diagnosis, which is an unmet need in Sub-Saharan Africa. Non-specialists and GPs in rural areas can be empowered by providing them information there to properly manage patients with Alzheimer's disease. And use of digital biomarkers can alleviate the challenges associated with inadequate access to healthcare. 
So in conclusion, personalized approaches to care can empower patients and their families to manage Alzheimer's disease in countries in Sub-Saharan Africa.